My name is Oyi Clegg. I am 35. I have a great job. Stupid man. Instead of him to be doing his work, he's in the office, busy toasting women up and down. <laughs> I'm not married. What? <laughs> Auntie, I'm not broken. <laughs> and no, there is absolutely nothing wrong with me. Yes, Fasati, I'll join the singles committee. Great. Oyilola Clegg gets married. Mommy, you like Kini Tenso now. Is it my fault I'm still single? Whose fault is it? Excuse me. Are you blind? Can you not see that this seat is taking? No, I see it's taking all right. By my fiance and his next play thing. Excuse you? So, where are you headed? Dubai. Ah. Yeah, I needed some me time. And you're going alone? He's leaving. I would really like some form of assurance before he goes. So, this guy was dating Gloria and he is a married man. Es excuse me, please, I would like to speak to Kelvin. So we're going to get our revenge. So Toke wants you to continue to be single like her. And, and just so we're clear, I can get a guy. Hello, beautiful people, welcome. I'm shooting multiple videos today because when I look at my analytics, I'm not just, I'm not happy with myself. I've just been slacking. So all this outfit that you're seeing, this same outfit here, yeah, all same day film production. So please bear with me. Today we'll be reviewing the movie, Finding a Hobby is a 2020 Nigerian movie. This movie is loaded, loaded. You know, at some point I'm like, oh, Thank God, God, thank you for the new faces I'm seeing here. For me, they were new faces anyway. And thank God for the you know, new meaning. This movie is fresh. The story is fresh. The story is real. Thank God, I can just, you know, kick back and relax and see this movie. Because that was how I felt. Now, this movie has amazing actors and actresses like Adela Oye, Monachi Abi, Kende Bankole, Charles Tubiebi, Pat Uyutomi, Efa Iwara, Tina Mba, Toby Tedela, Demi Banwo, and so many actors and actresses you won't want to miss. Now, like the name connotes, finding a hobby it has to do with this young, driven lady who is ripe for marriage. Her name is Oni. She's having fun with men. She's ripe for marriage, yes. She's having fun with guys, yes. But you know, her mom, Tinambai George, you know, keeps on impressing it upon her like girl, you need to get married, your mates have gotten married, had two friends, amongst whom is Muna Chiabi. Everyone has the story. Like, Muna Chiabi had a guy she was dating, the girl stays out of the country, travel back, and on this particular day, she calls him only to find out that he has a white woman as a wife. And everything he had been telling her, you know, the whole relationship turned out to just be fake. And she was seemed to be the only one dating. <laughs> you know, that one is there. Now, Oyin oh, had a colleague in the office who would die for her, who, you know, was tripping for her, would do anything for her, pay for her trip to Dubai just to relax. You know, she kept on sleeping with other guys, having flings and all of that. But um, no one was real husband material for her. For Oyin, oh, she wanted, you know, a perfect guy handsome tall rich he must be rich he must have class he must have it all and if you do not have them all then Onyi is not looking at you Onyi was the normal girl that you see she portrayed the character of every successful girl or every girl who who had a good job had the money and all of that so she was, was a bit picky in a relationship who isn't anyway there's this scene where she went dancing with her friends in the club and you know kind of hooked up with this guy who seemed handsome tall and you know was just she was just feeling the guy the guy was feeling her only for her to find out that the guy was just one small time gigolo so she was like oh my god because the guy was just hustling out for money please pay me she was like what there were different guys that were portrayed in this movie that only you know had something with some guys who just want to have fun with you and you know and that's it guys who love you and who care about you want to settle down with you that a bit needy and possessive 
you'll find those guys too. And then they were in, there was another scene that like, actually resonated with a lot of stories I've heard or lots of things that you will see about uh, this scene between Oni and Efa Iwara. Oni and Efa Iwara dated years back when they were still in secondary school or they were still in the university and Efa was struggling, no money and when he got frustrated and broke up with him. And as forward to several years later, Efa comes back rich, handsome, really handsome and successful. And he wants him. When he suddenly fell in love with him all over and she's like, oh my God, this, this guy will surely propose to me. Tabla is the guy for me. And if I were at, we really flood her. He strung her along, made sure she was really, you know, down with him and he dashed the hopes by telling her that he actually did this to get back at her. Anyway, I didn't see the rationale behind that, but really that's what a lot of guys, a lot of men do these days. So this movie was an eye-opener. This movie was educating. This movie was intense. While you're watching, you're having fun watching this movie, but you're learning a lot of things from this movie. We have Nuna Chiabi, who finally slept with the guy who was crushing on me in the office and from nowhere the guy just proposed to her meanwhile when he was there a guy that, that really wanted to marry her that was rich that would do anything for her yet because he didn't fit that perfect picture she didn't look at him at all and they say one man's food is another man's poison he became monarchy of this food <laughs> And then finally, when you saw this guy, well sought after guy, with one of the biggest billionaires ever, just suddenly liking her, just suddenly tripping for her, just suddenly, you know, proposing to her, and she never felt better. Well, guess what? The guy turned out to be hey, and she's like, oh my goodness, I'm breaking up. And her mom is saying, you better stay there. <laughs> this other person, this one, oh, that person now became gay. Oh. This one, she said, ah, why didn't you tell me? You know, and she thought that everything was perfect. Fine, I like how realistic the the plot was, the storytelling was. Or it kind of like everything in your face, just take it like that. This is how life actually is. That's what the, the movie did. You know, all that glitters is not gold, and no matter what people portray, it's not like that for real. So the mom is like, you know what, suck it up and just stay. Just manage yourself. I don't know. Manage yourself and just stay there. Because what are you going to see outside? The movie was intense. The movie was amazing to see. The lighting was wonderful. The, the sound was awesome. The storytelling was leading, engaging, and ended well without any issues at all. I'll say the director, Femi Gunsawa, I hope I pronounced it right, was awesome. I don't want to start pitching one director against the other director, but this director delivered it to the end. The storytelling was wonderful. I'll be rating this movie an 8 over 10 because it gave me what I was looking for. In I see a low lot of movies and if I don't get bored after 3 minutes or let me just say 5 minutes in watching this movie, in watching a movie, then that means the movie has some promise. I'm really impressed with this movie and that is why I am rating this movie an 8 over 10. From start to finish, you should see this movie, the 2020 Nigerian movie, Finding a Hobby. You would not regret seeing this movie. Okay, which brings me to the end of this review. Do you have any comments? Please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Up there, you'll see my Nigerian movie reviews, my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews. And um, I'll see you next time. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.